So for, for me, the, the, like I, to kind of piggyback on what I was talking about before about being able to come out from that shame and be able to walk down the hallway and, and freely talk about what I was doing, then it became, it man started to manifest itself in being able to share the story with men in my men's group that had nothing to do yep. quote unquote with sexual addiction um, or, or then other people that I would meet, you know, being able to share it with them because, because I had had a been freed from the shame, but B had had such a positive change in my life that I just, I, I was not scared to share it with anybody. Mm-hmm. And so, um, and it's great how God uses those opportunities, um, and, and that freedom to bring people into your life, uh, to, to give you a platform, to be able to share those things. God, yeah. um, you know, gave, gave Ashley stories unveiled to be able to share that. And then, um, you know, for, for us together, bringing people in our lives to be able to share our story in a publication, you know, to that, that people could see outside of it. And it's just, it's, it's, I feel like when God gives you such a gift, um, there's no way that you can just keep it to yourself. Yep. You have mm-hmm. to share it. So and, and and I know that for myself that um, I know that how I struggled in the dark and, and so I have to assume that there are so many others that are out there struggling in the dark. And so I felt it incumbent upon myself to, to be out there and to sing it from the mountaintops yep. because I was freed from the shame. And so now I yep. need to be able to, to be something that was attractive for other men to be able to say, Hey, you mentioned this. Let's talk about that. Yep. And I've experienced it. And it's just been so amazing to be able to see God work in that way. So I was going to yeah. say, sorry, before I lost my train of thought, I was going to say, um, so before I started stories unveiled, when I knew that the Lord was telling me after I'd worked through, you know, my stuff and, and all of that, I felt like the Lord was telling me, um, there are other, there are others mm. and not even yeah. just necessarily, yeah. like you said, in this realm of, of sexual, um, addiction or porn addiction or sure. any of those things, but just in life, right. There are others. And so, um, as I was working through with the Lord, what stories unveiled look like and, and all of that, I went to Asher and I said, listen, to this point, we haven't really shared our story. I mean, here and there, we've talked about it in counseling. You clearly are, you know, you're in pure desire. Now you're leading groups. And I've talked about it here and there with like close, close friends, but like the leadership of, you know, the church, certain leadership, they don't know, like we've never been really outspoken about Mm -hmm. this. We have never just without any inhibitions, really just shared our story. And if I, if I walk through these doors that I feel like God's opening with stories unveiled, and this is the road that we take it's not going to be easy. And we're gonna, we're gonna have to share our story, like on a platform, so to speak, like it's going to be revealed for all. And we made a pact that like, that's okay. That that's what we were called to do, mm-hmm. That that is what we were supposed to do. And so, like you said, in publication, we had the great opportunity for our story to be highlighted on a magazine, um, more locally, but, um, Still, it got the word out about pure desire. I mean, people didn't know what pure desire was and he had people contacting him. And so, mm. I mean, it wasn't so much buildup of courage to like step out and share a story. It was just a switch that flipped, at least for me yeah. to just say, no, enough is enough. We need to share this because God gave us our, this story. He's writing the story, but he's also brought healing and redemption from the story. So we need mm. to share that. Yeah. Yeah. It's it was like in my story, having Ted Roberts say, you know, cause I was a pastor and I didn't really want to have to share with my church. It just felt, <laughs> felt easier and cleaner. Like, let's just move on and yeah. I'm healthy. That's good. But Ted Roberts said, do you think you're the only man in your church that struggles with pornography? And I was like, dang it. <laughs> no. no, I mean, and it's just, it was that <laughs> right. simple. It's like this, yeah. this switch of like, well, yeah, obviously there's tons of other guys. And if I'm quiet about my story, they're going to keep struggling. Mm-hmm. And if I try to preach on this without owning my story, it's not going to have near the effectiveness if I'm willing to stand up and say, listen, I was I was bound yeah. and trapped and addicted. And some of you are too. And I found mm-hmm. hope and freedom. And here's how, like, yep. you, you catch that vision to say, we're not the only ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, th- those were your words, I think. And that just, yeah. that's a game changer for sure. Yeah. 